Holy crap, this was a good episode, and I mean a serious good episode, folks. I mean, that fight with Majin Buu and Basil, Basil, is it Basil? Oh, whatever. Dude, oh, damn, this was, you know, probably the best fight, it, even even with uh, Fat Buu's fight with uh, Kid Buu. Oh, crap, this was awesome. Oh, okay, 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 I'm calm down, I'm calm down. Usa, 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 Usa. Okay, so, let's get to the review. Hello everyone, I'm Anime Freak and welcome to the video. Today, I am going to be reviewing Dragon Ball Super Episode 79. Now, if you haven't seen that, uh, that episode, please go and watch that episode first. And as soon as you watch that, come and uh, hear me talk about the episode. So, that's said and done, let's get to watching. Okay, to start off with, we had the Universe 9 Supreme Koi. And he seems a bit of a dickhead. Not very respectful and seems very, very greedy. And it seems that, that he's calling all the shots instead of the is God of Destruction. And apparently, Universe 9's fighters is called the Trio D Dangers. And Basil's name is the Bullet Shot, which I have to admit is pretty damn cool. And also, Goku seems to have noticed something with Universe 9's fighters, that he can't sense their energy. So, hold on. If he can't sense their energy, does that mean that... Does that mean that only fighters in their universes, like Universe 1 to 12, can only sense fighters in their universes? And, you know, not other f fighters can sense uh, other fighters from other universes? You, you know what I'm trying to say. It's something to look into, if you ask me. And as we can see that Goku was getting excited... And the two Xenos was getting excited. Hell, I'm pretty sure everybody, including myself, was excited to watch this fight. And let me tell you something. It was freaking awesome. Majin Buu had this. It was a freaking good fight. I mean, I haven't seen a really good fight like this with Buu in it since he fought Kid Buu. Uh, like I said, at first we could see that Boo was just playing about, that, you know, he wasn't taking any anything seriously. But when Mr. Satan, or Hercule, got wounded, Boo started to go serious. And let me tell you something, it was a spectacular fight. It was absolutely freaking amazing. And then Basil transformed with some sort of food or something and he buffed up to some sort of like werewolf sort of transformation and even though basil put up a good fight boo says you're powerful but i'm stronger <laughs> dude you, you can tell that Margin Boo hasn't lost his touch ever since the Boo saga. And then Boo used his version of the Kamehameha, which I assumed he used his version of the Kamehameha, and blasted Basil away. Even though he doesn't necessarily kill him with it, I think he succumbed to fatigue, in my opinion. I just want to f say a few things in this. Even though Margin Boo is clearly not, you know, not as strong as Goku at this point, I think he can be a very great asset. Just think about it for a sec. Let's just say that Majin Buu went into the ring with a very, very powerful enemy. You know, just as powerful as Goku. Maybe even like 10 times more powerful than Goku is. And in instead of like fighting him, he can just... Uh, Majin Buu can easily just go, Oh, I'll turn you into candy and that'll be the end of it. Because... Majin Buu is a really big asset in this fight. Even though he's not, you know, as powerful as Goku, he could just use his candy uh, beam and then it, the, the match will be over. But we need to remember that Majin Buu isn't weak. His power is still growing over time. Not as quick as when Goku is training or he gets a new transformation, but his power is still growing nonetheless. So anyways, yeah, back to the review. So the match doesn't stop until Zeno is satisfied or one of the fighters is incapacitated. But remember, this is only an exhibition match, so it's only at the cost of Zeno know as entertainment so yeah uh Majin Buu wins the fight and the next guy up is Lavender if I'm reading that right the one with the straps and let me tell you something he looks like he's blood hungry and the next guy to fight him is none other than Gohan and something tells me that Gohan is going to lose this one and then he's going to go back and train some more before the big tournament oh and before I forget that guy in the hood with the clown god of destruction apparently his name is to po po I think I think I'm pronouncing that right. And he apparently absorbed it, I think. And then he goes, how, how dare he disrespect a god like this? So I'm going to say that he's very loyal to the gods in his, in his universe. I was assuming that he was that alien that we saw in the opening, but I guess I guess wronged. <laughs> so with all that said and done, let's get to the reaction. Okay, so this is the uh, preview to Dragon Ball Super Episode 80. Uh, 80. And... Three, two, one, and go. Oh. 
Get pumped up. Kind of creepy. Okay, so... I swear, Lavender looks like a complete utter psychopath in this trailer. And apparently, he can spit out poisons, I think. And apparently, Gohan has lost his sight. And here's the other thing. They can't sense power levels. So maybe, just maybe, the Universe 9 is the only universe that doesn't have any key for Universe 7 to sense. And apparently, Gohan has to go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 to actually put up a fight against Lavender. I'm actually open for a good fight with Gohan and Lavender. Vendor. Because for me, I think Gohan has just been lacking. He's not as epic as he used to be, like when he was with uh, uh, Cell or uh, Super Boo. But again, I know he's going to lose this one, and then Goku's going to win this for the team. And then everyone's going to go home and start training for the upcoming tournament. But my favourite part in this whole episode was definitely with the old fight with Majin Buu and Basil. That was freaking awesome. So, yeah. Now, if there's, like, any anime-related or My Little Pony-related or Ruby-related stuff out there you guys want me to react to, just leave a link in the comment section below, and I will get to that video as soon as, as, soon as I can. And if you guys want to follow me on my social me medias, they're down there in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao, you!